Well, um, I became interested, oh, I would say when I was 10 or 11 years old, and uh, I got up into the loft above the garage and saw some oil paints. And I looked at these oil paints, and I go, what is this, this thick paint? And I fell in love with the paint first. And lo and behold, that's when I started thinking, I would like to paint with these, you know? My mom said, uh, your dad used to paint. He was a commercial artist. And I went, wow, that's really cool. And uh, that's when I first started getting interested. I was painting pictures at 11, 12 years of age. I never looked back. I remember going home from high school I was 14, I'd stop by the library. I didn't have anything else to do. I had a long three mile walk home. So I would drop in the library and spend some time there. And I started looking at the artwork section for art books. And I started looking at uh, all these great artists of the past and how incredible the artwork was, the romantic views they had. And I was always interested in mountains and the Western landscape. And I just, I started thinking of those hundreds of years, 100 years ago, 150 years ago, the, 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 what was it like back then when, before it was all settled around here? And, and I wanted to smell the same atmosphere as the, the cowboys and the Indians. And what was it like? Was it different than it is today? Uh, that rarefied atmosphere of antiquity just, was really intriguing to me. The way I approach painting and the creative process that I use, it's, it's uh, quite different. I, um, there'll be something other than what you would think sparks the idea for a painting. It could be a, I don't know, it could be an industrial park with a, the light shining in it, on it a certain way. That becomes the idea for a mountainscape and and how the light hits the mountains it's just some little thing you know maybe it's a, a cloud effect and then it all of a sudden becomes this big epic moose painting and and so it's just not always what you think it is i think i have an advantage a lot of artists have to see it to paint it i don't have to do that i can do that or i could just do something totally different Just look at this place. It looks like a museum. It's just incredible. You come in here, you can spend hours just looking around and discovering different things all through it. It's just incredible. And that's how Sam has Cisco set up. People walk through and they'll discover one of my paintings on the wall. And that's what he wants. He wants people to come through and discover, you know, what's around the next bend. And, uh, and that's how he gets people excited. I like that. It seems to work. I'm selling my artwork here. That's, that says something. And, it, and my artwork fits right in.